you recall when John came out on stage? When John came out on stage that you asked to have a clip of what was just said by Mr. Amador replayed for the benefit of John? Yes, I, I do recall. Yes. And you recall the content of that clip that was replayed, correct? Well, when I say I recall, I recall because I've seen it on news and on TV. I don't recall from being there over a year ago. But I've seen the tape, and so it's, it's refreshed my memory. Thank you. Okay. That clip repeated a pornographic fantasy that Mr. Amador had for John. Isn't that correct? I didn't think it was pornographic, but it did repeat the fantasy. All right. And you were made aware of that fantasy, again, through your pre-interview notes or script. Is that correct? Yes. You never talked to John Schmitz before he came onto the show. Isn't that correct? No. You didn't? Well, it'd be a good idea, Ron, if you took uh, Mr. Amador and Miss Riley out for a drink. Would you suggest that? No. Would you encourage that? No. Would you discourage that? Yes. How have, have you had reason to discourage that? Yes. With Mr. Missianti? No. With Miss Loughton? No, we just had a guest once that was drunk on the show, and it was a difficult situation. When you call your guests out onto the stage, you're a distance away from them, aren't you? Yes. In other words, you're not as close as I am to the members of the jury now, or and you never get that close, do you? I do get that close during a show, but not when I, when I call them out as a rule. All right. Did you ever get close to Mr. Amador or Miss Riley on that show, during the show, or any time leading up to or after the show? I don't remember. You certainly would have remembered if you smelled alcohol in the breath, wouldn't you? Oh, yes. Did they appear that they had been drinking? Not to me. If they had, I would have mentioned it to the executive producers because it would have been a concern. And you certainly would have expected the executive producers or the producer or the associate producer or anybody who had knowledge of their drinking and it was affecting their ability to function to inform you of that, correct? Yes. On a cue card, teleprompter, or whatever, correct? No, before the show. We wouldn't even start the show if someone was drunk. And you'd certainly expect the associate producer or anybody who had contact with your guests in the green room excuse me, the green room, to report to you Jenny, Jenny, they're drinking vodka and orange juice in the green room. You'd want to know that before they appeared on the show, correct? They wouldn't tell me, but yes, I'd, I'd find out. Who would you expect to be told before they appear on the show? They would tell the executive producers. The producer? Yes. Okay. Do your notes indicate that that was done? Your personal notes? Yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> the note? Sir. I'm not sure uh, I understand. Did anybody ever indicate to you that they had knowledge of Scott and Donna and other guests in the green, green room drinking vodka and orange juice? No. You know that before a guest comes onto your show that one of your producers talks to them, correct? Usually, yes. Is there any reason to think that the way this show operated and the way these guests were solicited to come onto the show was any deviation from normal procedure? I don't know. You've not been informed of that, have you? No. Okay. Who supervises if you know what producers and associate producers can or cannot say to any of the guests who call on the call?